Hello, welcome to another week in my garden. Um, we're up in the greenhouse today, it's a lovely day. I've had a lot of rain, but it's a lovely day. Just to bring you up to date with a few things, what we're up to and how things are doing, we'll start here. Uh, look how the tomatoes have come on now. Another week and we'll be potting those up again into one litre pots. They're really getting the roots down now. I haven't let's check one, just I don't know. This one. Doesn't matter which one. Yes, look, the roots are down now. They won't be long now. Get the roots down, that's when the tops start to grow and then They'll do rather well, but they don't want to be in those pots for very long, they're very small. The other thing to show you, um, the peas have started to come on. I've started putting the twigs in, these are the twigs that you, it looks like a bird's nest, doesn't it? Like a crow's nest. Um, these are the twigs I use, uh, I just pushed them in. The, started doing them already because I've got an awful lot to do but if you see they soon I don't know if you can this one if you can see they're soon looking for something to grab hold of and if they haven't got anything and they fall over they never make any any good so let's put the sticks in it looks like I'm doing it a bit early but it'll be all right tumbling tomatoes are doing fine Peppers are doing fine. There's a little row of onions there. I thought I'd put those in in case there's any gaps down there and we'll drop those in. The next tomatoes are the sun golds and then some more peppers and then some cherry tomatoes on the end. All doing fine. You can see there's a weed or two coming up. That's because I make my own soil based compost. But I'll be right. These look a bit dry, but I'll water in a bit. There's the cuttings we took last week of the uh, Bakupa. They're standing all right, they're doing that well, look, they're even flowering. I shall come with some very small scissors and cut those flowers off. I don't really want flowers on cuttings still while the root in anyway. And again, that belongs on there, you see. Uh, you've got cucumbers doing well. Courgettes, Tuscany doing well, some more cucumbers doing well, there's the celery doing well, don't want it too early, that's doing fine, got a lot of it. The lettuce little gem, I shall set that again now, now they're nearly ready, they'll go down there under those hoops when we put that new, the covers on those hoops, we'll put those straight in and we'll set again to follow on. These big boys here, they're the courgettes, they're the courgettes for the garden, so they'll be the courgettes for the boxes outside. Can you remember setting the mixed lettuce leaves? <laughs> they seem to like it in here. There's the beetroot we're going to use for baby beetroot, that will go with the lettuce under the clutches. And then the main lettuce, uh, the main beetroot is just beginning to germinate. Looks like they want to drink, I'll give them one later. There for the long lines on the beds. So we let those get nice and big, well, biggish. Right, just while we're in the greenhouse, I know it's not really vegetables, but my wife does this little bit this year and then I'll do it next year. She's bought a few fuchsia plants, look. And some more bacupa, this is the blue one. So uh, I potted them up and they're coming along nicely so what i shall do next week for you if you want me to i'd have to see i should take cuttings off these so and then grow them on again so one two three four five six seven eight nine oh i don't know ten Maybe I can get out of those five plants, I can get a dozen plants out of there. And it's early enough for fuchsias, we can grow them up and get them away. They'll be alright. The, this same again, this is the Bakupa, but we've got the white, this is the blue one that she's bought, bless her. So 
one, two, three on there, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This, let's say, a dozen, another dozen plants we can produce from that. But if you want, I'll show you how to do those next, next for next week. Um, they'll not hurt anything sat here waiting. Uh, geraniums, if you have got some of those in your garden, these are a little bit behind, but they will make it. But don't get them too wet, they don't like to be too wet. The little misfits here, look, then that never make anything else. I'll take those out. They'll never make nothing. But they should be alright, just keep out. They're growing quite well. They certainly won't go back into the seed tray. So they must be producing good leaves by now. Outside these are the cabbages, the brussels, the what cauliflowers. What else have we got? That's a cauliflower as well. That's a cabbage hybrid. And then we've got some spring cabbage, you know, the pointed ones. We'll get those in. But all that is now ready to go. Again, a lot of weed, but we'll clean those as we go. A few onions, they can go next to those other onions down there. The beetroot that we put in here, look, is all coming up. We'll let it a little bit more, then give it a good weeding. No sign of the parsnips. There's no sign of the parsnips in the long beds, neither. So I'm a little bit worried about the parsnips. Might have to set again. We'll see how we go with that. So that's doing fine. Your onions. These for setting these for finishing in these tubs. They're all fine. Not they're all shooting nicely. That one's not. But we've got some spares. If that one doesn't, we'll put one of the spares in. They're doing fine. The beans that we put in last week, they're doing fine. They're really biting down, aren't they? I just put these here for now because the, they weren't doing very well on the floor. You see, this is cold rubber, and the frost has touched it a little bit. I might put that back in the greenhouse or even reset. Um, now these, there's a pair of these, the other one's over there. These are blueberries and they're in their second year first year in these but they've been in like a 10 litre pot and i've potted them into these some nice ericaceous compost in there and i'm hoping that we did have blueberries last year but i'm hoping to get a lot of blueberries this year just to show that we can grow them and as you can see I've, they come they're coming on nice i have trimmed them back a little bit because they're getting too strong so uh, hopefully we'll have some nice blueberries. Hello, we're down the garden. It's a lovely day. We've had lots and lots of rain, so it's just drying out. I'd just like to introduce my new friend who hopefully will keep the birds off the cabbages. We don't know yet, we'll have to wait and see. Certainly looks friendly enough. Where we're putting the cabbages, um, I'm going to try a new, well, new to me anyway. It's a very fine mesh. I'm going to try that out this year. Supposedly to keep the white fly and all the insects off. Um, as you can see, I've set the hoops out ready and I'll put the covers on this week because the... Um, the cabbage plants in the outside the greenhouse are nearly ready to come down. So I have prepared the beds underneath these hoops. Right, as you can see, I've been terrible busy this morning putting the, the net up for the peas. You perhaps not need anything quite extravagant as this. You can do it on a single net on bean sticks, brushwood. If they're only small peas you can manage with a bit of twigs at the bottom but i like to do mine like this what i've done i've put a frame up the frame will last for years uh, last year's frame was one i i got rid of last year but i'd had it for about four oh, six or seven years so hopefully this one as well i put it all up i put a thick mulch 
if you can remember when we were doing the compost bins I said this with the leaves in I was going to use as a mulch for the peas well that's in there now so hopefully that will keep that inside of that nice and moist we'll put the peas up both sides and the usual rule of thumb is if you're if you're growing something on nets or on support six feet high you need the distance between the rows the same as the height well on most gardens nowadays you just haven't got the room to this so what i do is i do a double sided one so at least i'll get one crop that side one crop this side what few will get in the middle will take out by hand but it's uh, it's good and it will work try and get the best nets you can afford because it pays and that's where the peas will go the beans if you could just look around there this section of soil here that I'm getting ready I'll do it the same again and that's where we're going to put the beans this year I'm doing it so it's all under this big shade hole so uh, fruit cage as you might say to keep the birds off my peas because they annihilate them and the beans so hopefully this year and next time we see you the net will be on hopefully <laughs> we'll see how we go with that and um, my wife's not very tall i'll have to stand her on a chair i think to do this uh, i'm sure i can get some help to do it somehow but that will be ready for next time so we'll be we can get going also just a quick one a quick reminder as always if you can see over the other side where i finished always get it dug over and get it lightened up don't leave it where we are now this this will just go solid finish your borders and everything off when you finish you only finish when you forked everything out make everything nice and tidy i know it's a vegetable garden but let's it ought to look nice as well so let's keep it nice Well, I've just had my break. Um, if you can remember when we were down the garden, you saw my bird scarer. Rather fierce looking thing. Well, I don't really want birds down the garden, but we do like birds up this end at the front of the house. And as you can see, this is our feeding station. Uh, it's a very, very busy station. Uh, they make us, but we'll we have to live with that. But as you'll see from a few pictures that we've taken, there's it's quite a busy station. By Thursday today, I can just feel it spotting with rain again. It never seems to stop raining when we're doing this. Never mind. Uh, Thursday today, as I say, um, that'll be about it for this week, I think. And Hopefully, we'll see you next week. Okay then, bye now.